Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? This is Moltritz from Dark Spear Server, just bringing you some commentary action this morning at 5.31 a.m. Uh, killing some Wendigos. These guys are like freaking Mexican Yetis, as I like to call them. Because the name, I think, is Spanish, and uh, they look like Yetis. So that's where I got that from. As you see, next to my Drain Life ability, which is number three on my action bar, Number four is Void Walker, my new spell. It's my new summonable pet, like Zigtug, uh, disappears, and this Void Walker comes out, which uh, his name is like Omar Kritz or something like that. That's my. I tried it. And uh, he seems to be like a tank for the Warlock class. Like, I cast my dot or whatever I want to on these Wendigos. And this guy goes over, hits him like one or two times, and he has the aggro, which means he has their attention. They're not coming towards me. They're going towards my Void Walker. And uh, he's just freaking tanking it up. Right at this moment, I was looking for the guy I had to talk to to finish the, you know, the last quest I had to do in this cave. And after going through here and... I attack this guy and I'm like, ah, he's just not in this part. So I'm trying to figure out where is he because I need to hand this in. I'm trying to do it as quick as possible. Plus, I'm doing 1 to level 90. So there's going to be a lot of gameplay episodes. So I don't want to drag out any quest any more than I have to as I'm leveling this character for entertainment purposes. So I'm going to go back up here because... I don't think I checked this room going in here. There's the one that I've already killed. You know, he's not up here. Shuts. So I'm going to turn around and head towards the exit of the cave, thinking maybe the quest icon will re-pop up or something. Just kind of reaffirming, like, oh yeah, the guy is here. Don't worry about it. Go talk to him. He's this on this corner of the cave, or however you want to say it. Um, got to fight my way back out. I know I always say, like, don't kill a whole bunch of guys before you go into the cave or before you go and do the gathering part of the quest, but that's exactly what I did this time. But it's not that big of a deal because I'm a warlock, and so far everything has been seeming super easy, you know, super easy mode. I don't have to worry about it. I got a Void Walker, I got a Shadow Bolt, I have Corruption, which hits them over time. And I have Drain Life, which heals me, so I have a heal, I have a dot, and I have a regular damage, plus I have a tank. So it's like, this is by far the most diverse class that I've played so far, besides the Druid, which is my main. And uh, it's really cool. I'm, I'm really enjoying it because I'm feeling that experience that you feel when you feel, uh, wow, I said feel twice. When you play WoW for the first time, or play a class in WoW for the first time, and you're learning all the new abilities, so you're like, oh, okay, this can go with this, or I can use this guy, like, I, like I'm planning, I can use a Void Walker, hit him with Corruption so it gets the damage off early, Void Walker gets over there, then start casting Shadow Bolt, which I can just cast Shadow Bolt when it hits him. I'd already be halfway through my next cast, and Void Walker be on the way. But, you know... It's whatever. These guys die so quick, I, it doesn't matter with the rotation. I don't have to worry about it at the moment. You'll see uh, when we get into Mr. Pandaria or Cataclysm, maybe even Burning Crusade a little bit, depending on the areas. It will depend. It will, uh, you know, we'll have to know our rotation somewhat. You can go through WoW and not really know your rotation. I kind of did it with my Death Knight. You can just spam your buttons. I know it sounds really newbie. But you're so powerful as a death knight, or you just hit really hard that it's not that big of a deal if you don't know your best damage output rotation, because you're doing so much damage anyways that it's like these guys are dropping so fast. Like right now, just getting back out of the cave, have three quests to hand in, I'm about two, four, just about six bars into the level. Um which there's 20 bars in a level it just equals out with the percentages like 5% per bar it's pretty cool my void walker is boss 
these Wendigos just respawn real quick because they're low level right now. They're only level 5, so they're green to me because I believe I'm level 7 or 8 at this point. I think level 8 maybe. And uh, heading back up to the camp. Quick shout out to uh, my friend Adam. He wanted to do a dual com video with me. So maybe shortly in the series we'll have a couple dual com videos back to back for you guys where I'll just record like 30 minutes of gameplay and make it into three different episodes of Adam and I doing our dual com. That sounds pretty cool. I think that would be awesome. So leave a comment if you guys want to hear that. Adam has done commentaries with me in the past. But you know, he like pops in and out every once in a while. He thinks about making a YouTube. Hasn't done it yet. But uh, yeah, he's a real cool kid. I used to go to school with him. I dropped out of school to start working, which, you know, I'm not really proud of it. I need to go back and get my GED. But I can't until my class graduates, with, which is like the end of this coming year, the end of next year, whatever. But uh, yeah, so I'm pretty pumped. Heading towards my new quest, I need to use the little item next to the quest to destroy the totems that are binding down the dwarfs to the ground. And also, I need to kill eight of the scavenger, scavenger trolls to get what they have, which is a 100% drop. So, you know, I don't really need to worry about it. I didn't realize that I had to pick up. I thought it was a kill quest at first, and then I released this guy from the totem, and I'm like, oh, wait. I have to go back and pick up that loot because <laughs> I just killed the guy and never looted him. But I hit corruption on that guy, Zigtug imme immediately tanks him, and I'm going to avoid aggro from the other mob, go back around and loot that guy for my second one. I'm just pimping it out here. I'm just trying to push through quests as fast as possible. But uh, back to the Adam topic, like I was saying, he was thinking about making a YouTube in the past, never really got around to doing it, which is all cool. It takes a lot of time, a lot of dedication to make a whole bunch of YouTube videos and make good videos. And uh, yeah, I just really appreciate to have him back on the All Around Gaming Vids channel because in the past the videos we have done together have gotten like, the one video had like 6,000 views, which is big when my channel only has about 40,000 views currently. I think we're at like the 37,000 mark, so it's getting close to 40, and uh, so that's a pretty big deal. And uh, the other video we did with Minecraft, that was also, every Dualcom that I seem to do with them gets quite a bit of views. I just think people like the Dualcom. I really think they like the difference between Adam and I. Like, we verbally state our differences to each other, like that's why in the past we've had disagreements where we got beefs for short periods of time. Then we realize it's like, dude, life is too short. Enjoy it. Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. You know, see other people's opinions. Tell them your opinion if you want. But uh, that's just how life goes. You don't have to get in a fight about everything. It's okay to have friends that have different opinions than you. And that's what that's what I kind of thank Adam for the most. Is He made me realize that as I was in high school. It's like, dude, we don't have to agree on everything. But we can still be tight. We can still be like, you fucked with Adam. I'm going to punch you in the face. I don't care if you're bigger than me or not. And I end up getting my ass beat. I'm going to try to give you a couple of receipts before I get knocked the fuck out. You know, that sort of attitude for backing up your homies. And that's why I like having Adam as a friend. He's cool. You know, taught me a lot. He's a smart kid on top of that. He was always uh, intellectually competitive for me. You know, I was more of the jokester. But at times when I wanted to be competitive, I'm like, all right, Adam, you know, let's see what we get on the test. Let's compare scores afterwards, that sort of deal. And then if I did get a higher score, I'd be like, oh. And then if he got a higher score than me, I'd play it off. I'd be like, yo, bro, that wasn't even a hard test, man. I was just, I didn't even study. You know what? I thought it was going to be so easy. I didn't study. It wasn't even really that hard. But if I had studied, I would have done good. You know, just kind of denying him his win, but that's, that's how bros, you know, that's how guys hang out, like, that's what we do, we get bored, so we, like, make competitions out of nothing, and, uh, yeah, it's really cool, and, uh, I want to take this time to officially welcome Adam onto the show, he's not here right now, but I'm just saying that for next episode, or for 
next upcoming episodes, hopefully before episode 15, just gonna put out that as a milestone. Got the health uh, stone right there, end of the episode, if you guys liked it, thumbs it up, and uh, check out the other videos, peace out, love you guys, see you later.